militarily, a live firing exercise is al always the highlight of every training cycle. So you train to conduct a live firing exercise. And part of the reassurance, but also of deterrence, is also always to be credible. So and credibility, from my perspective, means that you have to show your capabilities, you have to uh, underline the capability that they are effective and they can be used if they are needed. And that's why, from our perspective, militarily, uh, the, the live firing exercise is very important. In a wartime scenario and also in exercises, we need to be ready to support the Lithuanians with our indirect fire means and obviously also the other way around. So in order to improve the interoperability of the howitzers, but also the, the, the maintenance, the, the supply of ammunition, of uh, fuel and so on, this needs to be trained, this needs to be coordinated and this is what we are going to do here. I think the Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group Initiative, so the, the intention of NATO to reassure the Baltics and the Eastern Allies, uh, has been taken seriously all the time. But uh, since the war in the Ukraine started, you can feel that uh, there's a huge effect on the population or the populace here in the Baltics and also in our home countries from the allies that are part of the Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group here in Lithuania. The thankfulness from my perspective of the Lithuanian uh, military and also the Lithuanian population is very high. And uh, yeah, we feel, we feel also thankful to be part of that community and to, to, to support and to reassure the population by our presence.